Welcome to the world of Street Fighter Yeah, I got the picture. Fighters ready. Engage. Prepare to strike now. We await your return, warrior. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter 3. Yeah, well, well, hey, yeah, I'm waiting for this. Are you ready? Go! Are you ready? Go! We await your return, warrior. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter Yeah, 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 Prepare to strike now.
We await your return, warrior. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter 3. Prepare for battle. Prepare to strike now. Fight is ready. Engage. We await your return, warrior. Welcome to the world of the Fighter. Well, well, I got you here. I'm waiting for this. Are you ready? Go!
We await your return, warrior. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter 3. Well, well, yes, I'm back. I'm waiting for this. Let's fight. You play a Are you ready? Go! <laughs> Into the heat of battle. Go for it. Oof! <laughs> 
we await your return, warrior. Welcome to the world of the Street Fighters. Yeah, well, I got you prepared for the battle. Are you ready? Go!
Go! 
Peggy. You win. We await your return, warrior. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter. Yes, well, I got, well, I got the big battle. Go for it!
we await your return, warrior. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter 3. Prepare for battle. Well, I got the bitches. Yeah, I'm waiting for the yeah. Well, I got the bitches. What a night of third strike, man. Eat just grinding out here with Yuki, grinding with Resolve. Getting bopped by the kids out here, dude. Look how happy Resolve is, man. He has his whole life ahead of him. He's up here picking on old men. Welcome aboard, Rick. How you doing, dog? It's jazzy, Rick. That's what we're doing out here. Glad to hear it, Rick. Glad to hear you're doing well. Ooh. Demon flip grips. Shweeps. Going for the car grab there. Gets a huge punish. Oh, no. The Hyah of Justice. Flip and sign me up before, dog. Thanks, Rick. I just tied a ponytail on the top and one on the back and then chopped them both off. That's all I did. Just to lighten the load a bit. We got Exo versus Resolve. What's up, Donka? Wait, it's city skylines, dog. Maybe it is Donka and we're just, you know, in one building in the city. How cool would that be one day, Donka? To expand upon city skylines with some kind of, you know, DLC. Let's you zoom in so close to the buildings so you can go inside the arcade and watch the Thursday tournament happening. Maybe soon, Donka. Maybe next week. There's a lot of masks here, Rick. I actually was wearing my mask here and there. It's hard to stay disciplined. How you doing, Doc? Oh my yeah, the crouching fierce actually hit his leg there. Toe touch. Protect your piggies, dog. Go. I should get out down there and get some more games, huh guys? I was getting some pretty good games earlier, but uh I got really hungry, and so I ate this insanely huge meal and I just feel like passing out, guys. I kind of want to get down there and get some games. Seems like a pretty small rotation here with XO, Eat, and Resolve. Oh, I went for the chip kill there. Got what he wanted eventually. Welcome home, Doc. We got Young Wax. We await your return. AKA Raycade. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter 3. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah Joe Joe, that was resolved, dude. He's a 12 year old third strike player. Go! He's not really 12. I think he's like 20, though. He's notoriously strong for being a young guy, and he sure as fuck is. There's been a lot of really strong kids lately, man. It's like fucking Children's Justice League, you know what I'm saying? With the baby Superman. 
12 and a half, and a little bit older than 12, huh? Got Young and Envy here. Checking in on the boy. Look at, we got fucking Ona guy in the chat, dog. We all love. If you guys in the chat love Ona guy, let me know as well. To know Ona guy, to love Ona guy. You want to jump on the mic, dog? No, Envy says he's good. He ain't trying to jump on the mic. Stay solid, homie. Rick says, ain't no one 12 playing this game. Huh? There's probably some 12 year old playing it, dude. They're probably godlike. They're not gonna let them get on fight gate because all the naughty words on there, but if they could, dude, they'd be bodying everybody. Yeah. They're probably playing Makoto, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Maybe some Julian, perhaps. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Envy's saying that Yuri's a really strong draw for third strike to get for young people because he looks so sick. His combos are godlike. You know, he's got excellent looking normals. Plus, he's got a sexy body as well, which I don't really mind that much. JoJo says most 12 year olds don't have taste, but they must be taught or we'll all die out. And so, JoJo, they'll learn eventually, dude. If not at 12 years old, then at fucking, you know, 30 years old. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we got EXO versus Yuki here. Just casuals, yeah. This yeah, all it's all streamed, yeah. What do you guys think? You guys been watching MD play? What do you guys think? For me personally, I've been quite impressed. I've been enjoying it. So just is here, Yuki Yurian, I guess, dude. But you've been playing everybody, you know, that's his prerogative. Yeah. That's been good. I call it the Mutant XP. When you fucking do a max range jumping roundhouse and then dash in and grab. That's what I call it. So that I saw, I learned that from watching Mutant Yurian. Yeah. Yeah, he got all salty. <laughs> He's like, because I only got to dash up, dash up and grab right now. I was like, that's not what I meant, dog. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. Wake up crutching short. Yeah. You know really sick about fucking Yang, though? Fucking the single hit parry of... Fucking the first hit parry of EX Slash Elbow, then standing LK punish. That's sick. I was fighting Noe earlier, and he's doing the same thing with uh, with Dudery with the fucking standing strong. Just parry first hit, then block and standing strong punish. So sick. So sick. It's good. I gotta, I gotta get part of my game. I think that, uh, you know, it strikes me that it works on me all the time because of my propensity to want to grab you when you wake up. And so, by that same logic, if I did it, it would hit somebody once in a while. Like, people are trying to grab me too, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, it, you know, Alice doesn't get as big a reward off of it, but it's interesting. Yeah. Neither does Alex, though. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys are hearing me and Envy's whole conversation on the mic, but me and Envy are talking about uh, Yang's wake up, crouching short, basically wake up light buttons. How some characters can do it, and it's, you know, quite strong. They can combo off their crouching short or their standing light buttons, and they don't have a lot of great reversals. Like, they don't really have, like, a wake up EXDP or anything like that, so, or wake up super even in some cases. They kind of have to, you know, put that out there once in a while to make you not want to grab them. Because, as you guys know, if you get off the ground in third strike, you actually have six frames of invincibility to grab, which means that if they're trying to grab you, they have to wait. They're going to hold that fucking light button, man. Did you hear that there's no throw invincibility in Street Fighter 6, Envy? I know because Shinebox has been complaining about it, you know, nonstop on Twitter. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
prepares a strike now. Right, of course. Well, especially in third strike, you know, it's like meaties are important in three like they are in any game, but because of the weak up parry, it makes meaties less strong in this game than in some other games that, that have meaties. So it's like, if they're not going to meaty you because they're scared to game parried, then they're vulnerable to wake up crouching anything. They wake up anything fast, basically. So whether they're trying to go for a grab or they're trying to delay their, you know, quote unquote, delay their meaties, whatever they're trying to do, you know, a wake up fast button is an option. It's on the table. Well, it, you have to know when to not do is the thing, you know what I'm saying? Right, it's not scrubby if it works. Well, I think it makes sense for Yang as well because it's like, if you're playing right, you're not gonna be on the ground that much at all anyway. So if you do, if you end up on the ground like twice in the whole fucking set, then you gotta be unpredictable, man. Like, don't let him put you around. Right. Make an adjustment, yeah. Yeah, this... Yeah, everybody's game's a little bit cheap, dog. I always remember fucking, uh... Uh... Craft Punk Locust. He always says that, uh... You know, you should fucking ban SA1 Hugo because he's just too strong, dude. Just basically kill you one hit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's it's it's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're kind of right. So much of your health, yeah. So much of your health. Yeah. You win. The your return. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter. Probably right. You're probably right. I think that a lot of matches in this game are closer than they would seem on paper, and when it comes to anything below the top tiers, like you know, it's there's. Low tiers like Hugo and Alex, and then there's high tiers like fucking Yurian and Yang and Akuma. But once you're, if you're not at the fucking top of the top, then that shit's actually pretty fucking narrow. Yeah, maybe you're right. Yeah. Might be right, dude. Thanks for the sub, FIFA King. Hope you're having a fine night, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, he says there's a lot of damage and stun. Yeah. Yeah, but like I said, his character knowledge, dog, like, Alex one those kind of characters that if you're not comfortable with that matchup, you fucking get hit once and you're put on your back and then you hit in the head with a fucking semi fierce and it's done. It's done. That's why I always say Alex is cheap. People are like, Alex is the low tier. I'm like, dude, if you are playing Alex and you have somebody in the corner and you fucking like walk back car grab, walk back car grab, walk back car grab, walk back standing fierce, walk in power bombs, like, this motherfucker is the cheapest shit, dude. That's all it takes. It's not rocket science. Yeah, for sure. I think it's why I think that Capcom was really smart when they made him like the main character of, of Street Fighter 3 because like he d is a really good beginner character, I feel like. Like he might not have like the he doesn't like scale the way Ken does from being a beginner to being a, a very strong player, but he's very inviting to a new player because he used to hit big buttons and fucking do big damage, dude. Mm -hmm. In a way, yes. 
Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't gotta do fucking wreckers, dog. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, one thing that Exo told me a long time ago back in the PS3 days that sticks with me is he said that uh, I was complaining about uh, uh, Ken or Chun or something like that, and he was like, well, I mean, the character you pick sometimes reflects your investment in the game. Like, some characters might be, you know, a higher tier or better, but, I mean, if you don't want to actually, like, get, like, it might be the case that, you know, you're in this very brain-dead character in the sense that all I gotta do is work on your fucking, you know, training mode Aegis setups, and then you're just fucking, you know, you're a force to be reckoned with just based on the fact that you spent, you know, much time in training mode. But at the same time, it's like, if that's what you have time to do, then maybe that's what you have time to do, you know what I'm saying? That's, what, that's how you, that's your, that's your route to getting good. And it's like, other characters, you know, like, it may be that, you know, they're a much stronger character, like the Yun, for instance, right? He's fucking top, top tier. But man, that motherfucker's hard to play. I think nobody wants to play Yun, dude. I'm gonna be real with you. The whole reason, a lot of the reason why I played that game is because I didn't play it. 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 Yeah. Are you ready? Go. I don't want to run away. Yeah. And then you're ready. I want to press you. I want to get that out. Yeah. And you're ready. Yeah, so every character has, you know, not just different strengths, but also, you know, maybe appeals to different personalities more, you know what I'm saying, so. Yeah. Can I find to agree? That's what I do, yeah. Dox is here. Any merch going on sale online this Jazzy? I'm not sure there is, Doc. I mean, there's always the uh, Jazzy promo code from Creative Flame. But, uh, yeah, I, you can go buy those from Metrino right now. Yep, that's true. Like Envy points out, if you buy a Jazzy right. shirt in the Matrino, the puts in, I think, like eight bucks for the prize pot, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. It's a pretty good bargain. It's not too shabby. That's the way to do it. But yeah, also, uh, you know, we're right here at the actual venue dock. We have uh, these Jazzy uh, uh, programs. You know, the, the yeah, they're pretty fucking safe. Typical Mutant XP dog. Like he always goes so extra. Yeah. And then when it's fucking, you know, the year 2050 and all online emulation has been legalized, you can sell that shit for fucking, you know. Yeah. You can say, you can say, dude, at this event I smoked so much goddamn weed, dude. I had hella fucking beer and tots, and we played this video game. You kids would never understand. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. You can say, dog, I know you kids love Pokemon. They used to call me Bulbasaur, dog, because I'd be fucking so green, dude. I was so green. Oh, we got fucking TBD over here, dog. We got Midwest Battle here. TBD from Indianapolis versus Eat from uh, Omaha, Nebraska. Yeah, it's the big dog, dog. I will never let him live down the fact that one time he said that Makoto was the scheme's most honest character and he meant it. <laughs> he told me since then, he was like, yeah, dude, I said that when I was pretty new to the game. Like, I, not that I played a lot more, I don't like talk. I'm, whenever I talk about you, I'm always bringing that shit up every single time anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, at least he's got tools to keep his ass out more than most characters do. Yep. Yeah. 
That's one advantage of uh, playing Alex in Third Strike is that whenever you lose, it's never your fault, which is super sick to me. Because you just be like, I play Alex, dog. Like, he's super fucking whack. What do you want from me? Yeah, exactly, dude. When you win, it's the option select. They're like, dude. Yeah. Yeah. That's my thing about that, you know, that. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> He's phased, dog. <laughs> He's like, yo. That boy got phased, dog. Yeah, Indy Depp is kind of sick, dude. Fucking... Dude, you're a god, dude. Good game, Tommy. Yeah, man, I got a lot of casuals in today, dude. I'm really happy. I, I, it's fucking the jazzy finale, man. Like, there's so many goddamn cabs. Everyone's getting casuals, and there's no wait. Dude, guys, we have like fucking like 12 third strike cabs. Like, we had the idea was to have eight, but we also have like Vulux that set up a 3S on them and shit like that. Like, yeah, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, and plus, you can be a snap because there's fucking hella fucking cabs, dude, with excellent feeling buttons and sticks and. You know, they're in good condition. And yeah, it's been fabulous, guys. Again, hope you guys can make it out to Jazzy Finale next year, supposing there is one, because I'm telling you guys, if you're trying to get some fucking casuals in, this is the place, man. This is the place. You're getting some, you know, good friends, good food, and good time playing through us. Yeah, for sure, dude. For sure. Yeah, for 100%. Yeah, it's super sick to me to think that, you know, it's a nationwide event, and yet we all know each other because we come together for these events like this. That's something that's really our privilege. I think I was telling you and earlier that for guys our age, sometimes fucking being social is kind of hard to do. It's hard to go out and meet people, so Fierce is a guy like that way. Yeah, for sure. Shiro says, you're icy Street Fighter 4. There's actually a Street Fighter 4 tournament earlier, Shiro. Yeah, the tournament over there at our, our side stream, twitch.tv slash scrub series. Now, they tried to hook it up to the HDMI and they couldn't figure it out, so they had to just put a camera there and record it old school style, which is old school shit. That was run, that was run by Synapse. Yeah, he's a guy for it. Yeah, Doc asked, is there any Tekken cab there? I don't think if there are, Doc, they're not in our area here. Okay, okay, so, so Envy seen the marquee there. Yeah. DK uses mean, are there? Come on, DK. Alright, it's fucking. It's fucking midnight, Dom. Yeah, I might fuck. If I know how to fucking time you out, DK, you, I would, but. It's okay. I'll let it slide. How you doing, DK? You hope you're doing well, my friend. Good idea, dude. Be ready for. Okay, so you, you only got fucking play tomorrow, dog. Yeah, that's sick, dude. That's super sick. You have a good rest, homie. Go to bed. Yeah. I mean, it's Thursday, though, so ain't nobody got to do that. <laughs> Probably very few will. Yeah, they beat body everybody. Yeah. It's that kind of a game, I guess, dog. It requires, uh, you know, half of it is, you know, reactions, half of it's game knowledge, and the third half of it is fucking just, you know, the spirit. You gotta have the spirit. Sometimes that's enough to get you through. Or Right. Fucking Ray now. says here, come on, Dahmer, you got this. <laughs> come on, Ray, let fucking TBD live, dog, okay? He can't help it, dog. I mean, he probably could actually help it, though, but still. Yep. Hey, glad you pick it out, Envy. Peace out, homie.
Yeah, that was Jazzy finalist in the Demon Jazzy here on my mic at all. He didn't want to put a mic on himself, but uh, yeah, Jazzy, uh, you know, uh, out of qualified envy because he was the third place winner of the uh, event over there that the uh, auto qualifier at uh, Brooklyn Video Games. So basically, uh, Denges had won that event, and so he was auto qualified to come play, but he couldn't make it. So the second place winner got, uh, you know, auto qualified. That was Nika. He couldn't make it, and so Envy in the second spot. So Envy's that boy now. Jay Santillan says, go Arcade. Yeah, dude, so many guys from uh, DFW out here, including Cedric. Chosen has been whooping a hella ass out here as well. It's been crazy. I do have flex money. Fifa King says here, TPK used to, used to me mash and tattoo there, huh? You guys, you guys play a lot of fight game, TPK? Behind TBD, guys, you guys see that Jesus looking guy? That's uh, Spectre. He's also from the Indianapolis scene, along with TBD. I think TBD moved, though. I think he's actually not from Indianapolis anymore. But it'll always be a Denji Boy me. Oh, kind of grips. Nice throw parry there from, uh, from TBD. Reset to Super. That's been good. Oh, tagged him out of the uh, Karaksa attempt there. There's the link. Kablam! Nickelodeon. We're tied up in rounds. Only one player can win it, guys. $10,000 on the line. Jazzy Season 6 Grand Finals. Here we go. On the left, you've got TBD, Indianapolis. On the right, you have E from Omaha, Nebraska. This last round sides all the uh, all the winnings. Flex is here. Been playing super to six lately, but the second I see third again, I'm yearning for it. This game just never gets old. I've not played six. I don't think I probably ever will play six. I'm glad people are enjoying it so much though. But I think that just based on the fact that six is a modern fighting game, I think there are some ways it can never compete with third strike. I think that the game speed could never be like third strike, right? I think the modern games can never be this fast because they're designed for modern consoles and modern displays and. You know, modern sensibilities. It seems like people don't want a game this fast anymore. I've heard some people say that six is great, but they want a faster version of it, like a like a turbo version. What do you want that flex? These guys are going back and forth. <laughs> Come on, Ray. You don't know Eat Dog? <laughs> we await your return, warrior. Flex is here. It's fine. Also, not enjoying watching it, huh? Hmm. Well, maybe you will flex once it's more mature. I think I have a theory, Flex, that it's really hard to enjoy watching any kind of sport when you don't understand it yet. Like, if you're trying to watch fucking basketball, you don't know anything about basketball, you probably enjoy it a lot less than somebody who's actually really into basketball. Maybe as Super 6 matures more, it'll become more of a fun spectator point, of spectator uh, sport. Once you understand the, you know, the mechanics better and the matchups better, you'll really appreciate it more. Dang, because here, 6 is fun, but the input issue are really bad at times, huh? I've heard that it has kind of annoying uh, input system. Very inconsistent stock, is that true? Ooh, my. Uh oh, here we go. I got that too, dog. Ooh, a snipe. Uh oh, he got grabbed up. There's the stun. He's like, you fucking bitch. I feel like Makoto's character design is too strong to not be in six. I never understood why she was never in 5. I never played 5. I actually don't know half the guys are in 5. I know she's not in that game, though. I mean, come on. It's fucking Makoto. Her design is, you know, godlike. She was in 4. People loved her in 4. She's godlike in 3. Final round. Now. I can't believe that Oro got into 5, but Makoto didn't. Oh my god. I find it interesting that Eat doesn't taunt all that much. When I first met Eat, he used to taunt all the time. I feel like, you know, like, Goki has to choose between 
taunting and getting Oki, but I feel like taunt's probably just as important as Oki, man. Maybe even more so. Nice. Uh, Goki gets his taunt. He gets uh, a huge boost of damage to his next combo. He has pretty long combos in some cases. Like, he gets Oki pressure, what's the big deal? We await your return, warrior. Welcome to the world of Good old TBD, dog. Oh yeah, I forgot that TBD likes to think he has a Q. I think he's TBD on Fightcade, Flex. I might be wrong about that. You have to ask FIFA King. He said that they play together. TBD, if you guys don't know, stands for The Big Dong. Garips? Oh my god. He got the combo. Look at this. Look at him. Dong. I'm trying to fucking smile. Look at him. He's trying not to smile so bad. Look at him. <laughs> it's like, don't smile. <laughs> That's a homie TV king, huh? He got his name right, yeah. Nice rush down here from E. Oh, got the jump in. I saw the trailer, Daka, but the trailer didn't really show anything. The last trailer I saw was like a cinematic trailer. It didn't really show any gameplay or anything. Not sure what they could possibly show me, Daka. They'd be hyped for that game. Like it's City Skylines. I'm sure it's going to be a good game, but it's not exactly super hyped, you know what I'm saying? Six cubes with your dude in the bottom trying to fall asleep. It's gonna fucking eat, dog. This dude ain't never asleep. His third eye is open. That pump dunk, right? The first game came out in 2015. Believe that, dude? That's crazy how long it's been. Take grips. Little jugle there. Big life lead for E. We got Z Spectrace here. Rocking the arcade shirt. Shout out to fucking Spectre, dude. Also from Indianapolis, he plays Elena and Chun. It's been a long time, Duncan. I hope this new one, you know, learns some valuable lessons from the first game, which is itself not perfect. It's a great game, but it's not perfect. Flex is here. Thank you. Will both the qualifier finally be on your channel? It will, Flex Money, as well as on Scrub Series. If you guys are just joining us here, guys, the gimmick of the stream setup here at the Jazzy Finale is that we're having two streams simultaneously the entire time, Flex. So tomorrow we're doing the uh, last chance qualifier. We're going to have a main stream here on Venkabot, and also we're going to have even more pools happening on Scrub Series. So you can follow your favorite fighter all the way through. Like, can you guys imagine it almost all being on stream? How sick is that? But yeah, this is the, the quote-unquote mainstream. We're going to have the you know the actual Jazzy Finale on Sunday here. We're going to have the you know LCQ on here as well. But guys, make sure you're following Scrub Series, twitch.tv slash Scrub Series. Because there's going to be even more pools to drop in tomorrow on their channel. Yeah, dude, we've got fucking hella players here, Flex. And it's uh, been a really fun night of casuals. I think it's just about to come to a close here, at least for me. This venue doesn't close until 2 o'clock in the morning. Right now it is uh, 11.45. I'm going to end the stream around midnight. Hope you guys have enjoyed the show. Come back tomorrow for the uh, last chance qualifier. It's an open singles tournament. Like 120 competitors. Probably more than that, to be honest, since there are going to be some sign-ups at the door. Whoa, the standing first. Dude, Spectre's beard has really leveled up lately, man. We await your return, warrior. Welcome to the world of Street Fighter. Razor Lito got this. Hey, what's up, Flex? Young Jared Lito. Into the battle. Go for it. So each switch SA1 Roo.
Ray, some people are not huge fans of Elena because she has no toes. And I can see if you were a foot fetishist, that would really bother you. But for me, it's not really my point of focus. I probably date a girl that had no toes. You know, with some light teasing once in a while. I'm only human. Flex says, I should have been beforehand. You are always putting on for a third, and I really appreciate it. Thank you, Flex, for your support. I stream, you know, full-time, and if not for people who actually support the channel through Twitch subs or Patreon or Kofi and stuff like that, there'd be no way I could possibly do this. It's very easy to watch a free stream and, you know, just enjoy it for free, which I appreciate. You know, people are like me. They're not exactly, uh, let's say, uh, you know, financially stable. I'm quite broke myself. So I love when people come by and just enjoy the show and, you know, share it on Twitter and help out for free and be in the chat, be positive. That's also a fun way to help the channel out. Ooh, at the same time, people that actually, you know, watch and they actually contribute, you know, through Patreon, through Kofi, through Twitch, uh, Twitch stuff and stuff like that. It's super, super helpful. Go. It's 3-3-3 three, three, three says, aw, not the foot talk. 6 two says, yeah, the foot talk. That's what I need. Yeah, thank you, Flex. That means a lot to you. People get salty to lean the sprite guy because it's all rotoscoped, right? Everybody else in this game is often, you know, in a large part hand animated. I'm not saying that Mako, you know, that uh, Elena's not hand animated, but uh, a lot of her animations were taken from, you know, a model, an actress doing the motions, and then the artists are kind of traced over it with the pixel art. I'm sure it's much more complicated than that. Being a pixel artist and being able to convey all this, you know, visual detail in a very low resolution is an art form all into itself. That being said, some people think their sprites kind of corny. Oh my god, dude, the night is winding down, and yet it's still third strike. <laughs> Look at E, dude. He's like, oh my god. Spectre's like, yep, yep. So Ray was right. Lido do got this. The pal mod I have for the stage saves my eyeballs. That's the real issue I have with Elena is her stage. Some people say that. I wonder if I don't have that same problem if I'm colorblind. Who do we got here, huh? Oh, we got fucking uh, Legalized Ranch. Thank you, Brian. Dude, this is a fucking legalized ranch, Brian. Yeah, yeah. On the bottom, top is Z Spec Trace. Guys, this was Legalized's first ever time playing offline third strike. How dope now. is that? Brian, imagine if your first ever event was the Jazzy Finale. Just come out and have fucking ten head to head setups. Everybody playing third strike. Get some casuals in with fucking, you know, Yuki and Five Star. Legalized Ranch was like, yo, who's this guy? He's got like, oh, that's fucking Yuki, dog. Isn't it great, Doc, with the fucking two-stream setup, dude? Shout out to fucking Scrub Series. Shout out to fucking Mutant, of course, who is pretty much, you know, the, the lead director who organizes everything. We are just his hands. Brian, so many cabs. Dudes. Basically, we've got... Uh, we originally expected to have eight head-to-head -head setups, but we ended up having way more because they also set up some, like, Vuluxes and shit. Basically, they gave us a lot of spare cabs. Like, Aki just decided, you know what? Fuck it. Well, as long as we have boards, just put them into more cabs. This place has a ton of cabs. So, it's crazy. Like, this is the truth. This is the fantasy, guys, of unlimited casuals. There's no wait. Everyone just playing. We got more than 100 players, and they're just, you know, the rotations are very tight. Every setup has, like, fucking three players. Yeah, Brian, change your fucking Twitch name. You become Aki, Brian X. <laughs> Isn't it great? Dabs and cabs, that's so sick. Get everybody just playing Thirst Strike. Maybe next time, Dad, we'll be able to come join us. Legalized Ranch, a uh, Blues Day Tuesday player, plays us on Fightcade. It's his first ever offline event. Seems like he's adjusting pretty well to playing on Cap. I'll see you then, Dad, and Cap. Oh, he still kind of got something there. Here comes the bug. Oh, same side. Couldn't get across. Okay. Nice escape there from Spectre. Very aware. Put the testicles on the back of her neck there. Oh, he's trying to dash and grab, but it ain't working. She's so fucking airborne. She got that born identity, dog. Airborne identity. Oh, Scripps is already into their stream. That's funny. I'm streaming mad late, guys. We got 10 more minutes left here. Brian, I think the arcade guys want me to change it to Brian Sex. I know you should, Brian. Doc says, really hoping to come next year when I'm done with my grad degree, huh? 
Fingers crossed, Anka. But guys, the thing about Jazzy is that uh, Jazzy season has never promised. Jazzy is very expensive to run, guys. On top of uh, paying out a huge prize pot to the players, thanks to y'all's generosity through Matcharino, which you guys can do right now if you guys feel like it. Check out the Matcharino link in the chat with the Matcharino command. Your guys' generosity helps us pay the players for coming out, which is part of the reason why some of these uh, old school, uh, really high level players come out. That being said, uh, it's very expensive to run in terms of organizing and traveling, that sort of a thing, man. Like paying for the flights for the qualified players and stuff. That ain't cheap. Paying for hotel rooms for, you know, all the organizers and stuff. Paying the venue fees. That being said, if you guys enjoy uh, Jazzy 3S, make sure you check out that Jazzy give command in the chat. It's kind of a unique thing. Guys, you guys may not know this. Spread the word. Jazzy is officially a nonprofit. It's a nonprofit organization. And you guys can contribute to it and take it off your taxes as a charitable donation by going to the uh, Jazzy Give command in the chat or go to givebutter.com slash Jazzy 3S. Are you ready? Go. Donka got a Jazzy shirt from a Matrino. Good stuff, Donka. This is two ways to give to Jazzy, guys. One way is to use the Matrino that, that helps pay out the players. The other is through the Give Butter. Givebutter.com slash Jazzy 3S. That's where you donate to Jazzy and uh, basically help us afford things like the, the flights and you know hotel stays and venue fees, that sort of stuff. That's why you know Jazzy can never uh, can never commit to you know a season in advance because it's really hard to you know crunch the numbers and decide if it's even feasible anymore. It's difficult, but it's been fantastic. I think you guys would agree. This is Jazzy season four now, and uh, it's been some crazy, crazy times. It made a lot of really positive memories, and I think you know introduce a lot of people to the game, which is Jazzy's mission, is to introduce more people to the game and celebrate the game. That's what I'm saying, Dad. I'm really grateful that's a chance to be a part of it. Jazzy is super, super sick. Shout out to Mutant XP, Katie Alpha, uh, Rico Rojas, Mash Legs, all the guys that with me are on the Jazzy board. Especially Mutant. Especially. I bought the shirt like a month and a half ago, though, and I haven't gotten to Donka. That's really annoying. The Match Reno guys are really slow about getting those shirts on. I apologize. Guys. But they're great shirts. Isn't it great, Donka? It's a non-profit, man. You can take the shit off your taxes, dude. Donate to Jazzy. That's a charitable contribution. Brian got back from Vegas a few hours ago. Had to get a Wi-Fi on the plane to watch teams. Holy shit, Brian. I'm glad you got to watch some of it, though. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be sick, man. If you guys are not familiar with Jazzy's format, basically there's uh, three kinds of events every year. There's the auto qualifiers, where uh, the player that takes first place uh, earns a chance in the Jazzy finale. Then there's the ranking events where players earn points based on their placement. And then at the end of the year, uh, basically there's five auto qualifiers. So five of those players go to the Jazzy finale. Then we choose the five highest uh, points earners to become qualified for the finale. And then we take six players who make it out of their pools in the last chance qualifier. On Sunday, guys, 16 players. Five of them auto qualified, five of them qualified by points and six from the last chance qualifier are all going to compete to see who's the best player in the U.S. Tomorrow's going to be crazy, guys. There's six spots up for grabs. And a lot of very, very fierce competition here. Dab says, uh, don't need to take that for taxes if you don't pay taxes. Ah, Dab says, you know what, I'm second, not need to pay your taxes, guys. Are you ready? Donka says, yeah, I got to check with my tax guy to see what the max write-off would be, huh? Hmm. If you guys want to learn more about the Jazzy nonprofit, check out, again, givebutter.com slash jazzy3s. There's some details there about the whole thing. That's pretty cool. I'm really grateful to be a part of it. Hey, I'm using the genius. You win. I'm glad that League Glass Ranch is having a great time with the fucking likes of... Uh, Spectre here. Two top tier dudes. Both as gentle as a mouse. Both learning this game. But the max is to get a write off. That's not a bad idea at all, says Donka, huh? Yeah, it's usually helpful, guys. This year we ran some uh, jazzy fundraisers, Donka, for the Give Butter. And we actually have, you know, made enough money to the. Uh, auto qualifiers. That's to be from the uh, from the uh, fundraisers and through uh, you know sales of the uh, passes for the Jazzy finale here. 
This has been, you know, let's say, the closest to being sustainable Jazzy has been, I believe. Oh, wow, we got past the fireball there. That's crazy. I believe that uh, all of this year's flights were actually paid for. You know, for the competitors, I mean, for the uh, for the qualified players. Right, previously, that was all, you know, coming out of, uh, out of let's say, uh, private resources from extremely passionate uh, board members. I don't want to blow anybody up. Let's just say, guys, that Jazzy has been uh, very expensive for, uh, for some of those behind the scenes at Jazzy. And they've been doing it totally, completely out of love for it. And I'm really grateful that, you know, Jazzy has become increasingly, uh, you know, nearing sustainability. That's why your guys' support on GiveButter is so much appreciated, so that we can hopefully, you know, not keep on, you know, having to pay out entirely just from a few guys. I can legit read account sheets now, thanks to my MB. Is that true? You're reading account sheets, Taka? Got done right, Brian. Again, I'm really grateful for the guys that donated. Remember our, uh, you guys remember the uh, Inception events, Brian? On Bruise Day Tuesday? I'm really grateful we raised quite a lot of scratch of those events. And likewise, um, you know, through the ticket sales for the finale and stuff, we're actually seeing that, you know, it's, it's not going to have to all be quite as expensive as it's been in the past. Legalize Ranch. You win. Let's get Jazzy into the black. This will be our new slogan for season six, Tonka. Or season five. The, the Jazzy Street Circuit. Warriors. Let's get Jazzy back in the black. The Church of Third Strike, huh? Kind of what Jazzy is. Kind of feels like it sometimes when you're here. This is just, you know, such an amazing energy we have here. Go. Players coming from all over the country and just hanging out and playing teams and, you know, sharing advice and shaking hands and putting names to faces and vice versa. It's pretty sick, dog. Not gonna lie. But all good things have come to an end, guys. Let's not forget that this is only the first of three nights of the Jazzy Finale. This was Friday teams. Tomorrow is the last chance qualifier, but it is now closing in on midnight. I think I'm going to end the stream here. Let's watch one more set after this, shall we? One more match, I should say. The taxes and the loopholes. Oh, shit, Donka. Oh, shit. Prepare to strike now. Ooh, let's jump in there from Spectre. Uh oh. Chauncey now for uh, legalized comeback. Got scooped up. And yeah, thank you, Donka. Yeah, I'm really uh, grateful for the chance to have been able to contribute a little bit more this year. In previous years, I've mostly been sort of like a gopher. Sort of like an intern. I'm glad this year I've been able to actually do some streaming. If I can make life easier for, you know, Mutant and Katie and Rico and Mash Legs, then I'm, I'm happy. I think, we're, I think it is going to be a great weekend, Dante. Here we go, guys. One last match here. Shin Grand Finals. Winner takes all. If you guys have been following along, I know this is, uh, you know, our, you know, Capcom Pro Tour Third Strike 2025. One million dollars on the line. Who's gonna take it? Welcome Spectre or Legalized Ranch? Gold players been leveling up a lot over the past few years. They found their way to the top of the game. Gold players looking mad focused right now. They got their mind on the money. Their money in their mind. Only one can take the milli. I know you guys thought this whole time it was just casual, but guess what? It's not. It's Capcom Pro Tour Third Strike 2025. Baseball punch there from Spectre. Playing musical corner here, even on health.
Oh, the buttons here from uh, Legalized Ranch. Oh, that's Japanese. That's confirmed from Spectre there. That's not say he's got to punish that. Oh, no, too slow. Look at Legalized, he's flabbergasted. He's like, wow. I can't believe I was too slow right there. Could be it, guys. Will Spectre walk away with the Millie? Who would have thought, guys, that in 2025, it would be Elena versus Oro in Grand Finals? Wow. This goes to show how much Third Strike has evolved in the past few years. Thanks to Fight K3. And, you know, CPS3 on Mr. Bringing Third Strike to the masses. Oh. That's what I'm saying, Donka. SBO, dude. 2025. That's it. Good game to Spectre, guys. Good game to all you guys. Thank you for joining us tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed teams and stuff. As always, check out our uh, friends and partners like TradeOfFlameFGC.com. Use promo code JAZZY22 to get 20% off all merch, including stickers and apparel. Get some pretty cool Third Strike designs. Shout out to fucking Akihabara, guys. Shout out to uh, Ryan Meyer and Brandon. Uh, a lot of people here have been hugely helpful in helping us set this all up. This arcade is godlike. It's an amazing venue. Thank you to Lionplex for the awesome infographics on the uh, Jazzy Start page. So you can learn more about how Jazzy works. The Season 4 Roadmap. You don't think so, Base Seiya? I'll bet ya. Good night, Doc. I'll see you tomorrow, dog. Check out Arcade Candy Company, guys. Go buy some sweet Third Strike keychains. They're beautiful. They're affordable. You can do a lot worse. I'm going to end the stream here, guys, and uh, see you guys tomorrow. Thank you to all this channel's patrons and supporters. Thank you to all the Kofi supporters as well. Because I'm not at my home streaming rig, I don't have that, uh, access to that list immediately. But thank you, guys. I mentioned earlier that this channel wouldn't be possible without your support. I'll see you guys tomorrow with more Third Strike. Pool start tomorrow at 1 p.m. Um, Mountain Time, I believe. It's going to be 3 p.m. Mountain Time, I think. Or maybe I'm wrong about that. You have to look at the, at the guide, guys. Good night, Base Saya. See you guys around.